What's good, ZX fam? As I'm sure you guys can tell by the title of today's video, today we're going to be talking all things curls. And let me just tell you, these are the best curls I have ever tried. As you guys can see, super defined. They're super soft, full, everything that I need and more. It is in a 26-inch length. And as you can tell from the title as well, I am going to be working with West Kiss Hair today thank you so much to them for sponsoring today's video not only will i be showing you guys these beautiful curls but i will be showing you guys how i do my glue method when i install my hair as i'm sure a lot of you know i have been using got to be glue only but now i have started using actual wig glue so i will put all the details for where i bought it in the description box below but i will be able to walk you through how i actually um glue down my wigs So guys i'm back to jump in as you guys can see i dot the glue on my forehead or on the place where i will be putting the lace down for me right now it is my forehead then i go ahead and thin this out guys you do want to make sure you don't use a lot of glue for these steps because a it's going to take 500 years to dry and b it's just going to look really chunky and unneed as you guys can see i do use my blow dryer to dry this glue and i do use it on my cold setting and as you can see i do two layers of this okay i do two layers so that everything sticks down and that it actually lasts me a long time normally people do this with the glue i mean the bold cap method but like i'm not too good at it yet i'm gonna try and do my best to learn but as for right now this is what we're gonna do so as you can see after i do that i literally just put the lace straight on where i've put that glue and it's done and you guys are gonna see me repeat this on both sides of my head as well when you get to the sides of your head, this is really, really want to focus because this is where I feel like um, the wigs tend to live first. So pay attention, do it twice and you'll be good to go.
told you to get out I did it a word that I said Cause I was hoping you would go Okay, now that we're done with the install, let's get into the styling. Guys, I really, really love this style and I've been wanting to try it. I also honestly didn't think I was going to be able to do it and make it look as neat as it ended up looking. But honestly, I feel like I really did that. So as you can see, first things first, I'm sectioning off my hair to um, figure out which parts I'm going to use as the top ponytail because as you guys can tell from the beginning of the video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a high-low situation. So you want to start off with the sectioning. Following this, as you can see, I go ahead and I wet the top part of my ponytail just to make sure that A, I can take out the part and B, just to make sure that the hair is a little bit easier to work with because as you can see, when it's super duper big and not wet, it's a little bit harder to manage, so I just wet it so I can get better control over the hair as I'm trying to style. Then I take my mousse and I'm going to put that all on the front of the hair again just to make sure the hair lays flat when I do end up putting it in my ponytail. You guys won't see it now, but I found it easier to actually take a scarf and lay down the front part before I tie it. This again just really helped me manage the hair because even though I did wet it and it did help, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you, working with curly hair is not pop in place, okay? So you want to do whatever you can to make sure um, it's as easy as possible to actually get to tying the ponytail. Following this, I'm just going to take a little bit of hair from the back of my ponytail and I'm just going to use that to hide the actual elastic band and wrap it around. Now, as you can see, I'm just securing my wig to make sure that it's super duper tight even at the back. And then you'll see that I will go ahead and take my scarf once again just to lay my hair as I go ahead and define my curls. To define my curls, literally all I use is water and mousse. That's it. I don't like to apply too much product to my curls because I still want them to feel light. Also, considering that this hair, guys, is super big and full and it's also very long so you don't want to do too much in terms of adding product because you don't want to weigh the hair down even more than it already is weighed down by how full it is i'm making sense right <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
And there you have it, guys. Beautiful, beautiful curls and beautifully styled, might I add. Please go ahead and leave me a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to comment and, of course, subscribe. Yeah.